All right, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story, and then I'm going to, tell, I'm going to talk to you about, hey there, I'm going to talk to you about um, some of the ideas that I've developed over the last 25 years around having healthy, healthy first, beautiful skin. Because as it turns out, beauty comes after health. Health precedes beauty. Unfortunately, in this country, we put the cart before the horse, and we're always focused on beauty first. Our position at Sanitas is that health, healthy skin, is beautiful skin. OK, so let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, Barry mentioned that I'm a pharmacist. I don't really identify as a pharmacist because I always had problems with the concept of pharmacy. You know, in Greek, pharmako means medicine and poison. It's the same word. And it never made sense to me that we would treat the body, if it was diseased, with poisons. And what we learned in pharmacy school, and I know there's some pharmacists here probably from work in pharmaca, and they can uh, attest to this. What we learned in pharmacy school is how to control poison, how to control the poisonous response of drugs. And all drugs have a poisonous response. And we're always shocked to hear about side effects, but it turns out that one of the leading causes of death in this country is side effects. Literally. It's like the third or fourth leading cause of death. There's hundreds of thousands of people a year that we know of that die of side effects. Not overdoses, but just side effects. And that's that we know of. There's many people who die of supposed heart attacks that are nothing but side effects. So we studied, in pharmacy school, we studied the poisonous nature of drugs. But we studied something else that many people don't realize that pharmacists study. And that is we studied nutrition. Except we studied nutrition not as a dietitian studies nutrition. We studied nutrition not as a nutritionist studies nutrition. But we study a nutrition, nutrition as if it were medicine. We study the medicinal properties of vitamins, the medicinal properties of minerals, the medicinal properties of phytonutrients and antioxidants, how these substances act medicinally. And we also study disease states as if they were nutritional deficiencies. And it turns out that all the diseases that we suffer from, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, Parkinson's disease, all the diseases that we suffer from in this country, if you backtrack them far enough, you find a nutritional deficiency. And even at the point of death, even at the point of death, we don't die of what it says on your death certificate. We don't die of a heart attack. We die because some organ system somewhere is not getting fed. So we're, we literally die of nutritional deficiencies. So in pharmacy school, I'm studying drugs as poisons. I'm studying nutrients as medicines. I'm studying disease states as nutritional deficiencies. It just made sense to me as a pharmacy student to focus on the medicinal properties of nutrients. And I developed this concept that Barry alluded to called nutritional pharmacy. That is using nutrients as medicines.